Alright, what is up my friendly YouTube channel? Uh, this is uh, obviously part two of how to fly in a first person, and I got it. Um, this isn't me just rambling on and goofing off. I took the time to test everything out, and I may be sniffling because uh, literally a minute before I started recording this, I started sneezing real bad and sniffling, so I may be getting really sick. And uh, I really hope that doesn't stop my tutorials. And the reason I hadn't been doing tutorials is I was kind of lazy. I was kind of getting doing, get kind of getting tired of doing them, so I stopped doing them for about a day. So that's why nothing went up Tuesday. Um, sorry for that. Um, I felt very like uh, nothing's on, uh, news on my channel. Um, but anyways, besides me going in and out of the things, so um. This is actually not there, so I'm just gonna. I hope that doesn't throw anyone off for those people who are very aware, like me. Um, so what what we're going to be doing uh, is we, we've got our plane here, and make sure that your plane is up off the ground or your flying object is up off the ground. Otherwise, it may spawn. Uh, otherwise, the the change in uh, when you uh, interact with it to use it will be a little weird. So here's how we're here's how we're gonna do it. So you need to drop it in and select it. Then you need to go to blueprints, open level blueprint, and I've already got it set up here. But you'll want to first get your player controller, and this is the easiest way to do it without turning context sensitive off. Then you get possess, drag it off to whatever you want. I'm gonna use H right now. And then connect it to, and then and then right click and create reference to flying. And then connect it to that. So here's what it looks like when it's all said and done. And I'm using right now my current. Um, uh, um, let me open up the uh, blueprint so I can change it later. But my current uh, pawn class is go is the flying. So um, I'm gonna be this right now. So here's how it looks normal and everything. And then, if we press H, we switch over. Yay, it works. But, if you guys are doing this, this probably isn't working for you right now. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, the reason is you're probably not able to move right now. If, unless, unless your character is in the ground and your camera's kind of weird. But you're probably not able to move. Why aren't I able to move? Well, let me change it back to ProDude, compile that. That's good. Let's go over to our blueprint for flying. Anything that has a blah, anything that originally had a, a reference to self as its target, get owner static mesh. So do that. Just just drag it off and type in. Whoa! Do not want to do that. Just drag drag off and type in static mesh and do that. Get owner and do that for this. For that, 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 and oh, that's it. So that's all all you need to do. And that's how how we get to move if it if it's not working for you, which I'm assuming it won't. Anyways, so let's make it so that way we can only do it when we're by the character. So right now, I can. I, I mean, you saw I had flown a ways away, but if I walk away. I mean, like, like, no matter what I press, like, no matter what I'm by, even if I press the interact button, it's going to snap me to my target over there and possess me. And possess that. So let's press F. So, for some reason, it didn't possess us. It didn't, it didn't make us possess. Oh, right. Because we need to. Oh, no. I believe... Do that. Well, 
Well, it's unpossessing us, but it's not repossessing that. I, I mean, the strange thing is, is to me right now, what it seems like is it's only doing it when we're as a actor, not a pawn. Or as a pawn and not an actor. So right now we're a pawn, and if we press H, oh, it like, just like, wait, what? That transitions all nice and smooth, and as you can see, our other dude is just flying because he just got disowned. Disown on you? Disown on you, cow? Disown on your no textured spaceship? So, I don't know why it's not working for our player, because it was working for my player earlier. But that's how I got that to work. If you guys do run into the same problem I did, I'll probably be back like within like this actual episode here just to see if I can fix it myself and show you what I did so that way I don't have people commenting and be like, hey, can you fix it? And I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and do all that. So I'll probably just break here and do all that. Okay, so I got it, and uh, you got to do something a bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag, ugh, excuse me, we're going to drag our character into here, and then we're going to go to our third-person game mode and say no default pawn class. Done. Go to our bro dude. Click bro dude, self, over here. Scroll down to where it says pawn, and auto-possess player pawn, player zero done then what that does is you since you have this dropped in here the second you press play it just doesn't even be it doesn't even try excuse me uh, it doesn't even try to spawn anything in to your default uh, um, your player start because you've got already got a player where you want him and he automatically is possessed so when we press play that happens. Be right back. All right, so we're back, and uh, I got everything all situated. Sorry, I fe felt like it wasn't recording there for a second. Jeez, lag. Um, got everything back to where we were, and saved. And so, let's test it out. So now we've got it, and we, you know, a normal guy, just everything normal. We can. You know, do that, pick up the, uh, well, the, uh, well, it went somewhere else. But we can run over these, still pick these up, shoot everything out just like normal. 
um, except for this, and we can, uh, since we don't have a limit on where we have to be spatially, we can just be wherever, but let's, uh, let's stand behind the stairs and get in it, so press H, now we're off, and now, if I go over here, we've got our character, and he's still there. And so we could find some way to press H and to go back. But one error is the HUD still shows up, and I'm working on that. But if we shoot him, he disappears. I'm also working on that, so I don't know why. But these projectiles will pretty much destroy anything with an actor collision. So, or a blueprint collision. That isn't, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. So working on it but that's it so let's uh be able first or not next 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 not first but let's be able to only interact with them within a certain distance so we'll go over here create a sphere collision right on and it'll be the child of that no right okay i don't know what i'm thinking um Right, that looks good. Well, I want to scale up our thing as well. One us four. Sweet. Got a much larger vehicle. And we don't want that as that large. Okay. Let's see how it is now. That's legit. That's a massive camera as well. Crap. I destroyed it, didn't I? I guess shooting it destroys it too now. I swear, anything with an overlapping collision just gets destroyed. Anything with an overlapping collision. Bottom line. Anyways. So, uh, oh, well, I just wanted to see. Do we get the camera error? No, but it still flies. Right, yeah. What the heck? Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Just overlap all, not overlap all dynamic. God. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Every time we shoot in our plane, it destroys the plane. Oh, God. This isn't good. Um, anyways, let's move on and um, create a bool in here. Curled. Oh, come on. Let me think. So, yeah. Um, can interact. In, yeah, interact. So, on that. We're good. And that. Set. Dupe it. And true, false. Then go over here. Can interact. Flying git can interact. Target will be that. There we go. Just make that look a bit better. Really should make it all look better, but what you can do about the sloppiness. Jeez. Yeah, that really all needs to get organized so much better. But if we actually hold up, let me save it up. 
Whoa, that definitely didn't load. I need to build my lighting and put better lighting on there. But, uh, anyways, um, let's have this load up. Come on. I'll start up my Clash of Clans on my phone. And I I'll just pause the video and we'll resume it. Okay, so, there we go. Um, let's test it out. So we'll back up, definitely out of the range. Press H, doesn't work. And of course, oh, pressing F still does that. Oh crap. Oh, let's press H and, oh. I don't even know what happened. I caused everything to just die there. Held up. Get in it in the thing. Press H. All right, we're good. And I'll fix the shooting. Destroys everything, but that's how you do that. Uh, the same thing, same principle applies for a view, other any other kind of vehicle. Really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this series with your friends, and get it out there so that way other people who want this kind of a tutorial can find it. Anyways. Once again, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like some requests and whatnot, um, because one of the comments from Official Critical Point is no longer there, and I don't know why, but it was there, the, the one with the bigger amount of requests. And uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.